Hello guys, hello, hello, welcome, welcome uh, to my video. Again, if you're new, my name is Andy. I am a family nurse practitioner. You guys know that we have been talking about different strategies for you to pass your NCLEX, how to keep your mind set, how to be focused, how to study, all those strategies we've talked about. What I wanted to do this time was to go over some basic questions. We might not do everything today, but I wanted to start going over some basic questions with you guys. So this is what today's video is going to be about. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Uh, but let's, let's begin. The nurse provides care to a client experiencing chronic constipation. Which action does the nurse advise the client to take to address this concern. Number one, reduce consumption of highly seasoned food and fats. Number two, drink a thousand meal of fluids daily. Number three, increase intake of whole grains, fresh fruits and veggies. Number four, ask the healthcare provider to prescribe bisacordial. So orally. So number so first of all, we can cross off number four. You you don't um you don't recommend prescribing medication. Remember your scope of practice. So that off the bat, you would remove that one. Um, so let's go back to number one option, reduce consumption of highly seasoned food and fat. Is that gonna help? Is that healthy? Absolutely, yes. But is it gonna fix the problem of constipation? See, that's how you gotta think. You gotta think critically. It might help overall health, you know, with cholesterol and stuff like that, with blood pressure, highly seasoned food, probably lots of um, um, salt in, in cholesterol. You want to reduce that from the fat. But is it going to solve the issue of constipation? Remember when we talked about um, words that are keywords, chronic constipation, chronic is a key word. Um, Number two, drink a thousand fluids, meals of fluids a day. Yeah, that is going to help, but I don't think that's enough. Number three, increase intake of whole grains, fresh fruits, and veggies. So we know that whole grains helps with constipation. Fresh fruits and vegetables are healthy. They help you to pass your stool easily. So they are full of fiber. So I would say number three, okay? Let's see. <clears throat> so as you can see here, that is the correct answer. So let's 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 look at um let's look at what the rationale is. Uh, okay, so why would this be important? Because whole grains, fresh fruit, and are bulk forming that help eliminate constipation. The nurse should advise the client to increase the intake of these foods, which help relieve constipation. So, ask health provider. The use of laxative is the last result and should not. Be used until the steps are taken to relieve constipation. Remember when we talked about priority, like you want to do the best before you. Um, I think one of the things we talked about was trying your best before you you go doing something that are invasive, right? So normal fluid should be a thousand to two thousand. So that's not enough. In reducing consumption of highly seasoned food, it's unnecessary because the food have they have no effect on constipation, which is what I said. Okay, a nurse prepares to perform blood pressure screenings at a health fair in the local community center. Which part of the preparation re receives the most attention? Number one, ensure that there will be several quiet rooms near the main gathering area. Number two, collect blood pressure cuffs of varied sizes. Um, number three, arrange low cholesterol snacks for part participants. Number four, procure broke booklets that explain hypertension in simple language which part of the preparation receives the most the most attention you see how most is written in bold so ensure that there will be several quiet rooms is that really does that really matter when it comes to blood pressure screening i would i would think not so you would eliminate is it important okay um calling blood pressure cough of varied sizes okay I think that's the necessary step because you're going to have different sizes of people. And remember, if you do blood pressure, if you use incorrect size, it gives you incorrect number. So you have to use the appropriate size. Um, arrange low cholesterol snacks. Is it a good thing to do? Yeah, but is it necessary right now? 
No. Um, number four, procure book booklets that explain hypertension in simple language. Is that important? Yes, it is important. So the best option, so we can easily cross off three, one and three, and we are left with two and four. So let's go with two because I think that's the most important thing to do. Bo bro uh, booklets are good to explain, but you want to get the right, the correct number. Okay. All right. So um, that's correct. Let's review that. So yes, yeah, the explanation. So incorrect. This means so number one, it may be useful. Yeah. Um, However, there is not there is another answer that is highly um, appropriate. That's ensure that there will be several quiet rooms. Yeah, if you were listening to hard sounds, yeah. Um, number two, we we establish that that's correct because people attending will be in very in the, the arms will be varied, right, in sizes. Number three may help attract people to the blood pressure to have their blood pressure taken, but that's not necessary. Number four. Having written material for review is appreciated, but it's not a priority, okay? Safe and effective care environments. The nurse oversees care activities for a client's care area. Which situation, which situation will the nurse attend to first? An angry child, an angry adult child is threatening to sue the hospital be because the confused parent fell out of the bed during the previous shift. Two, the unlicensed assistive personnel is 30 minutes overdue from a dinner break in the cafeteria for the third time this week. The healthcare provider calls the unit to ask the nurse to obtain a client's latest serum, serum electroly electrolyte result from the lab. A spouse reports that a client's nose began bleeding after returning from radiation therapy. So which one would you attend to first? An angry adult child is threatening to sue the hospital because the confused patient fell out of the base, the previous show. Okay, so I'm assuming that this patient is stable now, even though they fell the previous shift. Okay, this is management. It's absolutely okay for them to be angry, but this is not a priority right now. And a care on on un a unlicensed assistive personnel is overdue, 30 minutes overdue from dinner break this third time this week. Okay, um, this is not my problem right now. I mean, it would be help helpful for them to be here, but I think that's the management issue. They need to take care of that. Okay. The healthcare provider calls the unit to ask the nurse to obtain a client's latest serum electoral result from the lab. Okay, I can call and, and report and, and get that. Okay, but which one is very, very important? Um, a spouse reports that a client's nose is bleeding after returning from radiation therapy. So I would, this is a physical, harm, physical harm or physical stuff that is going on. So I would definitely go check this bleeding. It might not just be regular nose bleed. So anytime, which one is more prior, um, which one would I um, see right away? I would see the person that is bleeding, okay? So let's see here. <clears throat> All right. So let's review. Yep. So let's see explanation. So we talked about Maslow's hierarchy of needs uh, in one of our videos. And address like the situation that affects physical status are priority. Okay. So this person is bleeding from their nose after radi radiation. This is important. Remember ABCs, A way breathing. Um, circulation. So uh, this person is having a circulatory issue. So I would definitely see this family concern. That's okay. It should. It, it's going to be handled. It's a safety issue. Um, healthcare provider request um, for lab results. Somebody else can do it. It's not. It, it's it's important. But right now, that's not more important than what is going on with this patient. So we did a few questions. Now let's pick medications. Let's let's study diabetic medications, okay? So glucagon side effects. The side effects of glucagon includes nausea, vomiting, dizziness, hypotension, okay? What is the purpose of glucagon? 
if you're watching this video, just put it in before you even answer. I mean, before I flip it, it is acute management of hypoglycemia. So this person's blood sugar is low. You want to bring it up. So you give glucagon. Okay. All right. Insulin, regular insulin, not in consideration. What do you need to know? It comes in 100 units per millimeter in a vial. Um, it's the only unit insulin that can be given IV in non-emergency situations. Um, it onset is about 15 to 30 minutes and it peaks in about 30 to 90 and lasts for about three to five hours. If you're giving it via IV, onset is 10 to 30 minutes, peaks in about 10 to 30 minutes and duration 30 minutes to 60 minutes, okay? Wanna read the pen correctly? You can mix it with NPH only. You absolutely do not use it in insulin pumps. You want to monitor blood glucose and do not rub the side after you um, give it. And you can see find this over the counter in some states and sometimes the prescription. I believe in Maryland, you can find this over the counter. Walmart sells it really cheap. What are the side effects? Hypoglycemia, of course. You're giving it to lower blood glucose so there's a possibility of making it too low um lip lipodystrophy okay allergic reaction hypokalemia that's low potassium headache edema blood vision and flushing let's, let's review another section let's do allergy and so triamcinolone this is a steroid what do you want to consider when you are using this you want to make sure that uh, you want to remember that the nasal spray until it's in a few days it picks in about three to four days so remember to tell your patient that you can give it by mouth i am and it picks about one to two hours use regular peak flow while monitoring to determine respiratory status prescription only okay and you can also have transcinolone in um topical form which is used for like rashes you know and eczematic rashes okay so what are the side effects of triamcinolone agitation oropharyngeal fungal infections headaches blood vision blurred vision nausea vomiting diarrhea increased cough and bronchitis what is the purpose of this it is used for treatment of chronic asthma and seasonal or perennial um, allergies or rhinitis. Uh, Mometazone, this is another steroid. Nasal spray onto the few days, weeks in three weeks. Um, you can use regular peak flow while mo to monitor to determine respiratory status, and it's available over um, via prescription. Side effect is going to be almost the same. This one. Um, also has hoarseness, oropharyngeal fungal infections, headache, nasal congestion, cold symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle, or joint pain, sore throat. What do you use this for? Same thing, treatment of chronic asthma or seasonal perennial renal. Tigazone, nasal spray. Again, this is one of the most common Prescribed nasal spray onset is within two days, peak in one to two weeks. Use regular peak flow while monitoring to determine respiratory status. Um, this is available via prescription, but it's also available um, via um, over the counter. Side effects, hoarseness, same thing, headaches, nasal con congestion. So this can actually cause rebound congestion, um, epistaxis, which is a nosebleed, nasal irritation, shortness of breath. Purpose, treatment of chronic asthma and cystic. I'm going to do one more and then we'll stop here and continue another time. So let's do anti-infectives. Minocycline, this is an antibiotic. So what do you, antibiotic, what do you want to um, know about this? It picks in two to three hours. If GI symptoms occur, administer with food except for milk products. You want to take this to the full glass of water. Do not take within one hour of bedtime. Avoid during tooth and early development. 
especially in four months prenatal to eight years, it can cause yellowing of the teeth. What are the side effects? Photosensitivity. So we use this also a lot for people that have acne. So you always want to tell them that it, you want to wear sunscreen because it can cause um, sensitivity, photosensitivity, and then your skin can be irritated. GI upset, renal, hepatic, hematologic abnormalities, dental discoloration of deciduous teeth. That's a baby teeth. That's why you don't give it to pregnant women especially during that time of pregnancy, dizziness, hepatoxicity, um, or urticaria rash. What is the purpose? Treatment of syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, peridonitis, acne, bronchitis, and meningitis. So this is the same thing as um, doxycycline, which is what we use most often for syphilis, um, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and again, for acne. And the next one is doxycycline. So it's the same family. Um, so almost the same thing. You want to take it with a full glass of water, fix in 1.5 to 4 hours. Um, if GI symptoms occur again, give it with a full with food except milk. Avoid tooth in early avoid during tooth and early development. Increases the effect of anticoagulants. Side effects again, photosensitivity, GI upset. Dental uh, discoloration, renal hepatic, hematologic abnormalities. What are you using it for? The same thing, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, chronic, peri chronic periodontitis, acne, and anthrax. And then also prophylaxis for malaria, okay? So this is where I'm going to stop today. I hope in some way, in some manner, this was a bit helpful for you. So. Until my next video, let me know if this was helpful at all, okay? And then, so if this was helpful, this is a test run. If you guys like this, then I'm going to do it more. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this video, to this channel, share this video, and let me know if this is what you like, and we can do more of this. Until my next video, I love you with the love of God. Au revoir.